Hello and welcome to It's All Good. I'm your host Latavia and back for another episode and today I have the lovely Miss Connie Pierre. She is back for another episode. Um, if this is your first time listening, It's All Good is a weekly, semi-weekly uh, podcast where I just talk about life, the joys and not so many or not so great times of adulting um, and just all the things that I've learned as well as just trying to learn and enjoy the process. And every now and again, I have a guest who comes and just to share that with me. And so this week, like I said, Connie is here. So welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to be back. Yeah, so it, it's been a little while, but so how are you doing? How's life now that we're semi open again <laughs> well my school is still remote so I feel like I'm still in quarantine kind of <laughs> but it's been good I mean I, I can't say I'm mad that we're remote because I do appreciate this working from home life mm -hmm. it's not too shabby so <laughs> I can't complain but it has been a long it's been a while I feel like I can't remember when, when I was here talking about Hamilton I was trying to think of that earlier, like, so when did we do it? But I, I don't remember. It was last, it was in 2020. Okay. Um, Were we in quarantine? I mean, I think, I think the actual quarantine was lifted, like, okay. to, you know, that official shutdown period. Gotcha. I think we had gotten past that. So I feel like it was somewhere it you're right because pro probably the only way I was able to see Hamilton was because it was online I didn't right go so it came out in June July June July you yeah. know what it might have been almost a year ago wow listen I'll be honest with you the the days have I can't yeah. remember what was last year what was this year what how long have I been home how long have we been in school out of school I I'm always asking someone they're like no girl we would because I'm like last summer were were we closed was I here and they're like no we were home and I'm like oh, right because okay. when I say last year I'm still in my mind I'm thinking 2019 exactly and it's like oh wait no it's a whole a whole year happened <laughs> like but, you have to remind yourself like oh last birthday I probably didn't celebrate so a whole year Happened. And I'm, I now have two birthdays. I was say that some people day. sadly two birthdays. Yeah, I've now had the second one in the pandemic. Um, I mean, I this time I was able to go to dinner, so that's that progress. Well, that's the little little things. Yes, yes, yeah. the little things like progress is being made. Yes, I, um, I agree. Because yeah, so yeah, I think it's it's been almost a year since the last time you were on. Yeah. Uh, Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> when you put That's it like time. Time. yeah. I mean, I'm I'm also still working from home, and so I'm, I appreciate that. And some yeah. days it's like I, I would like to have somewhere to go or some coworkers. Agreed. But then I'm also like, who? What am I gonna do when I have to be up and out of the house by a certain time again? It's listen. I since I work in a charter, we open at seven thirty. So oh, in my head, I'm like, exactly. So I'm like, oh my God, in September, I'm really going to have to wake up and be in school by 7.30 again. And it seems I, so odd to be like, well, I yes. was in the house. Like I was, I was arriving somewhere at this time, not getting out of the bed at this time. And it's crazy. Cause like, I always tell my mom, she's like, are you up? I'm like, I'm up. There's a difference yeah. in being up and up and out. Agreed. Agreed. Like, I can be up and functioning and, you know, like mm -hmm. early, but to be, to do all of those things in preparation to be out of the house, yeah, <laughs> like on yeah. my way somewhere. And you have to be, now you have to be like really dressed. Like you can't, yes. like, they don't see down here. So I can wear like, sweatpants or what, no, all of you up and down. Yeah, got everything has properly. to be presentable. Hmm. Yes. Put on some shoes. No, no flip flops anymore. Yeah. No slippers, no. No sweats, no no workout leggings and a t-shirt. Can't do laundry in the middle of the work day. 
can't schedule things in the middle no. of the day. Listen, like, oh, I have to go to the doctor. That's cute. At, during lunchtime, go hop and go to the pharmacy. Go do, you can't do nothing. Mm-hmm. No, because it, it's so many things. And I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> when that comes. I have to devote myself again to public transportation. I know you don't know that life, but I have to devote myself back again to public transportation. So give half of your morning to public transportation to get to work. I feel like you like it. Here you go. I don't like it. It's convenient. Not that I like it. It's just I mean, convenient. Is it more convenient than the alternative? Like paying for gas and hoping your, your tire doesn't blow out in the middle of the highway and you're alone and you got to change it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Were those are like great i have had i have i have had that happen and you've had to uh, change it. no i oh. have roadside assistance <laughs> <laughs> and then i think so then you have to sit by yourself in this car and hope like no you you know i'm a dateline girl so i watch dateline a lot yeah. you gotta hope like no creepy person's about to like roll down and be like oh yeah no thankfully i've had there's there's four instances I can remember. I can recall when my car like I got was on the side of the road. Two of those times I was not by myself, thankfully. Okay. And then the other two was like Very it was still daylight. Um, and thankfully, okay. in all the situations, I was close enough to someone, so for someone that I knew to be able to come get me. And I didn't have to like sit out there long. Now, New Year's Eve going into 2020, like on my way home. I got a flat tire. Thankfully, two of my friends were like, we were following each other to go somewhere. So when it when I when it blew out, they sat with me okay, while we okay. waited. Cause I was like, mm, this I should have known this. Right? I'm <laughs> it's, it's gonna be interesting. Exactly. Um, but yeah, yeah, so it's I get it, but it's not it's not as often. But it's yeah. also you grew up with in public transportation in New York is by far one of the most convenient yeah. public transportation systems I've ever seen. Cause I always, anytime I meet somebody who's from New York and they say they don't drive and I'm like, okay, I get it. Yeah. Not, it's not necessary, but you, well, you've seen parts of where I'm from or where, yeah. the areas I grew up in. So it's cars is, is, is necessary. necessary. I get it. I get it. Public these days I've, I've started to think like, you know, it probably would be convenient. Like when you have to take dogs to the groomers instead of like just hop in the car, you drive and you have to, you want to go places. Like if I want to just be like, you know, I want to go to Philly, get in the car and just drive. You know what I mean? I can't mm-hmm. do things like that because I don't drive. So you're right. But I mean, it's, it's like you said, because right now you don't have to pay, you don't have to worry about a car payment. You don't have to worry about insurance, gas, especially with, I don't know if it affected you, if it had it, it like reached up to New York, but the gas shortage. I don't, a few weeks I mean, ago. I heard the gas prices are high, but I don't think it got to New York so bad where they're filling um, plastic bags with gas. I don't know if we hit that. <laughs> I don't know if we got that far. Good old Carolinas. Um, it was South Carolina. I don't know if it happened in North, but it was, I was actually on my way back to Maryland when it started. And so there were legit lines. Like I saw lines of people trying to get gas um, because some places had, at least they said they ran out. I think some places were like saying they ran out in the morning and then people came back in the evening or they would say they were out of premium. Then the next day they were out of regular, but they had premium and they were definitely jacking the prices up but that's human nature right sad yeah, so it's it's about like the people were with toilet paper oh listen don't get me started where i'm like i don't understand the correlation i don't get it i don't either because i still don't I guess they heard it. quarantine they heard potential quarantine and they said i can't be stuck at home and not have toilet paper uh, i don't know but god forbid you stuff the you, you get your toilet clogged nobody's coming to fix it because of the pandemic and now you're just in there <laughs> this is true because i know like my apartment complex they sent something out they was like because of the quarantine quarantine and the pandemic unless it was an emergency they weren't responding to work orders and that went on 
most of 2020. It wasn't until like the summertime, yeah, like around June, July to where they actually started somewhat or like a back to a somewhat regular schedule. Got you. Like, okay. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, it's getting slowly back to normal. Praise God. That's the good thing. You know, people are going out and enjoying. Yes. And speaking of which, because I was like, well, we've been talking. Yes. One of the things I do to start each episode is uh, I like to call it a gratitude moment. So, Connie, what is something or someone that you are grateful for today? I am grateful for family and friends that have kept me sane through all of this. I've always said that, you know, thankfully, even though we were stuck home, I do think it got certain people to get closer together. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. got to know people that maybe, you know, when we hustle and bustle, going in and out of work, sometimes you just, it's like open door, closed door. You just pass by each other. I think it gave people a time to like sit, talk, and enjoy the little things. Like we start, me and my friends, we would do like, watching movies on zoom at night like you know what i mean things mm -hmm. like that where it's like you're not watch you're watching it together talking you never did that before but it's still a way like okay like even for my birthday i didn't get to go out but we were all on zoom playing games right that was you know what i mean yeah. that was a really fun night so you know what i mean things like that where it's like it shows you that it's not about proximity it's about just if you want to be together if you want to hang out together you're going to find a way so I'm grateful for people who want to be in my life, who appreciate, we appreciate each other and they'll show their appreciation also mm -hmm. in little ways by things like that, coming on Zoom just to celebrate your birthday, even though we can't be together. No, oh, yeah, that, that is real. And I think I would say that is one thing, um, I guess what I'm grateful for today, but even throughout this whole time of just what is that? That that saying, you know, find your tribe and yeah like a whole thing and it's like I, I feel like I knew who my tribe was or my village was before but this has definitely been a time to kind of reinforce that reinforce those relationships um Great. and then I'll also figuring out like okay maybe you thought it was them always busy no it was you you need you know yeah. those types of things so just the fact that we did have this time to pause like a forced pause and I know for me it's been very I guess I'm just grateful for the village as well as the growth that I've seen in myself and it's some stuff I'm just like wow yeah okay it, it took a while to stuff, right <laughs> like, mm. yeah it took a minute but okay we, we're here we're getting there all right so it's great the process and just another thing like it's it's just so everything is a process yeah like, whew, Can't just, but i will say i appreciate seeing all the creativity i think this time also forced out of people like people that have sat home and been like yo i have so much creativity i could I never tapped into that mm -hmm. sitting home that's given me that time to just tap into it and find these businesses that are popping up you and your yes. podcast like people didn't have time for that before like they never sat to be like what do I really want to do or what do I enjoy doing no yeah nine definitely. to five making money to live and I appreciate all the creativity and all of the thing all the memes the videos the, <laughs> oh the, yes <laughs> it's so many things even shows that have been created during or how people have adapted I love seeing how they've adapted um and just how we continue to evolve and like, okay, you got hit with something we've never seen before. Nobody knew how to do it. We adapted, even as my parents open to having food delivered to their house now, like. Yes. <laughs> Cause I was like, you used to get pizza delivered. It's, it's right? kind of the same, but no, right. all, it's like, it's okay. It's all right. You can, you can go ahead and do that. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm I think it's funny how in the world little things that maybe back then we would have been like I never would do that like let a stranger pick up my food and bring it or go in a car like even though you do cab but like you get on an uber and just sit in someone else's car that's gonna like things like that, that back then you'd have been like that's crazy you're gonna ride share you're gonna sit in a car with other people you don't know like but it, it's like that's just the way it is now you just adapt to the way the world moves it's a whole lot of adapting and you, when you put it that way like yeah mm. 
like when you think somebody like I'm like a car I get in the car with somebody and that's the part like my parents still are not they haven't gotten there yet they were like really yeah what how you gonna get around uber but you don't know those people you're right I don't but I don't know the cab driver either exactly and there is a way to track the same almost a little easier than it would be with cabs because you had to remember the the uh the taxi number or their medallion number to be able to even call and then find them. Exactly. Now you can just be like, share my ride. You know where I'm going, girl. Got the license plate, the name, and you an Uber has your information or Lyft has your information. So but I mean, it's yeah. But speaking of processes, oh God. Business, <laughs> you know, as much as I love, we just I enjoy catching up with you and talking. One of the re- one of the big reasons for today is married at first sight. Now, Connie, you've been watching a lot longer, <laughs> a whole lot long. You've been invested. You are like an Season actual. One. Yeah, you are a true fan of Married at First Sight. Um, and so I, I am I'm a fan. I would say addict. <laughs> okay, so all right, you're an addict. I am new to this. I am very. I am my. I, this is. I'm two seasons in okay and so that's part of why it's like you know there's all types of review shows I watch review shows talk about it debrief their various group chats I know you have different groups that you talk about it but it's like when I think about okay I need to talk to somebody about married at first sight I'm like I've got to talk to Connie because I know that she is in this Mm -hmm. for real well I'm talking that we might have to change this up where next season we do it periodically so that we can actually say like who do you think is gonna stay together who do you think's not like you know what I mean that might be, that be cool because you know they already they got a release date for the next season they they Texas. they're like hey we're gonna keep these ratings we've got their attention because what we got married at first sight unmatchables yep that's a whole I've, I've seen a couple episodes and I'm just like I I, I cannot I'm, I'm no <laughs> but but so what season tw- 12 is what we just finished right yes I believe so yeah season 12 Atlanta we'll just say Atlanta yes I'm gonna say I don't know numbers girl I've been watching since season one (laughs) right she's like they're running together so yeah so season 12 Married at First Sight in Atlanta just I think last week the reunion part two of the reunion they they stretched they stretched this season out too much and so I feel like it was definitely longer than last season, but from reading, and I was going to ask you to confirm, like the previous seasons were much shorter, weren't they? They were. I think either it was the whole pandemic thing that made them feel like, you know what, we could add a couple of episodes because people are going to be stuck home and they'll watch Mm -hmm. it. I don't know. Or it's that we were so tired of certain couples that it feels like it went longer. I'm not sure which one it is. That part. So like it went on forever. I agree. So, so do you want to talk about them first or should we warm ourselves up? Let's warm ourselves up, please. Okay. Cause you're going to get me, give me a headache or hot and then I'm not going to want to talk anymore. Okay. So let's see who's a good warm up. Let's do Eric. Let's do. Are you going to say Ryan and Clara? Yeah. I was okay. Say either, okay. either. Eric, no, either Erica Virginia or Jacob and Haley. You can pick which one you want. <laughs> um, hmm. you know, let, let's start with with Jacob and Haley. Let's 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 okay. start there. Uh, okay. I didn't really think much about either of them in the beginning. They were very <laughs> blah. Yes, I was I was pretty much indifferent. I was just kind of like, oh, it, they gave me Henry and Christina vibes. Agree, like, agree. Like, yes, it's just always awkward, yes. and it felt like they edited edited their scenes to, with all these long pauses in between, and it's just like, are y'all doing this, or did that actually happen? I don't know. Exactly. But... I agree. I agree. So you're like, you... it, it, Jacob, is this really how you hold the conversation, or is the show editing it to make you look so boring and awkward and dry like I, I couldn't figure it out if it was because it's like the boy everybody else seems to love him 
right especially like the and then but like as the season went on i started to like him more and i'm like oh wait he he has a different kind of like a dry humor but he's actually kind of funny and yeah. he seems to know how to have a good time but his obsession with the 80s and the meat and all of that stuff i'm like i'm sure he actually said obviously he said those things but it's like i hope he said other things and they just focused on that yeah because I'm, I'm like i hope he eats something else like i hope that's not really all he eats because whoo and why are you saying these things when you just met somebody but exactly like sell yourself and you're not selling yourself honey at all so did you think they would make it from the beginning no like ever since the beginning i thought like i could tell the couples kept the experts wanted to do opposites attract like i could obviously tell from the couples that i'm like y'all didn't think these people were, like personalities blended y'all thought they could pull something out of each other so it's obvious they thought Haley could pull some fun like make Jacob relax a little bit and have more mm -hmm. fun and they thought Jacob could stabilize Haley and make her more vulnerable well that didn't happen that backfired it didn't happen it but I, yeah but I mean you could obviously tell like I could tell when he walked down that that wasn't what she was expecting mm -hmm. so that was already one strike and then you could tell something had happened honeymoon that just wasn't fun for her and that turned her off even more and then he accused her of having a boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> then he accused her of running away from him <laughs> it was just like that yeah. but i will say because i know a lot of it like i will say he tried i will give him that i do think mm -hmm. he kept trying because he was like well you know what let's try to see what else we can pull out of each other that we might like Right. And I think that in her mind, once she realized, like, I'm not attracted to you in personality, physically, sexually, anyway, she put that wall up that she was like, it's over. I think she added a wall. Yeah. Like, I feel like she had a wall coming in and she's like, no, let's just reinforce this because it was like he, she bought him clothes. He wore the clothes. You didn't want him to talk about the 80s, no neon. He stopped doing all of that stuff, at least on camera. I don't know what was going on behind camera, but from my point of view, it looked like he was actually trying and she just, everything she kept deflecting, like, you don't want to hug him. You don't want to hold his hand. Like I, I could not understand that. Like, that was the weird, like, I'm like, you hug everybody. Like, you, like, even exactly. Pastor Council, like, hug me. And then when she, the whole thing about the bracelet, at the end when she talked to her mom like after mm. dr pepper told her like he's hurt this is what yeah. it is like she didn't acknowledge any of that and just well he's an indian giver he never asked for it back he just or you shouldn't give somebody something if you're not expected like if you want it back like that whole no thing. he just wanted to feel like the person he married appreciate the thought he put into a gift for a stranger like he thought about you while getting this so he wanted to think like okay she appreciated like you made it mm -hmm. obvious like, you thought it was ugly you hated it and you didn't even want it anywhere near you it's not right. even the house that you're staying in and she just it's like she was not either it wasn't clicking or she was refusing to acknowledge it and it was refusing like, to acknowledge. I, that's what i think i think in her head she's like i'm always right so i don't care what you say and then it's like everything he did annoyed her or angered her it's like he said he didn't feel like he learned anything. Well, why not? Ma'am, nobody said you had to. It's not. And if he did and he didn't, like. And that's the thing. I think, I think what happened is there came a point where he just shut off himself. Like he was just oh. like, I'm done trying. So she used those moments, I think, for TV to be like, look, see, I'm trying. I'm trying. And he's not anymore. And I'm like, well, of course not. He's not anymore. Like he kept trying and you kept turning him down. And like. He just felt like he was being a dead horse and he said, forget it. Yeah, like we six weeks in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You won't even hug me. You won't even hold my hand. Like, what's the, like, he's over it. Like, we only sleeping in the bed again because Dr. Viviana told us we had to. <laughs> like, and you act like this. I don't blame him for shutting down. Like, oh, no. And I was loving all the energy he was given at decision day and the reunion of just like, look. Yep this is what it was but i didn't like how kevin was acting oh no not like, at all because he kept making it 
Yeah, he kept making it seem like it was Jake's fault. Like, why didn't you smooth? Yeah. Why didn't you try to woo her? Why didn't you? What do you want? How you woo somebody who they don't even want to be in your presence? That's called her. That becomes harassment. <laughs> right? And then, like, all he kept saying is, I want you to acknowledge that you didn't try. The, my, his, I think his main anger was that he felt like she didn't try. But then when the cameras were on, she kept saying, I'm trying and he's doing nothing. He right. just wants to acknowledge me. Like, stop lying and, and be honest that you were over it. You weren't into me. You weren't attracted. So you didn't want to do this anymore. Don't pretend like you've been trying this whole time. And I'm like, Kevin, were you not watching the same show I was watching? Because where did you see you tried? That and the stuff with, with, with Kristen Page had me feeling like he's, they're feeding him questions or he's just yeah. intentionally trying to be messy. Because yeah. it's, sir how you didn't watch the same thing we watched if that's your takeaway agreed I feel like Haley was the female version of Chris in many ways but that's the and then she just sat but you saw she sat there smiling she she loved it like she loved the fact that how they kept pushing he was pushing on Jacob like blaming him for everything and she's sitting there like yeah he just asked me the same questions over and over again that's that's it's like how can you say that then when y'all went on the retreat and y'all won the game and you knew stuff and he knew things about you so obviously he wasn't asking the same questions over and over again and then like why are you mad you said to him something's missing and you're mad that he keeps asking you what's missing like you telling me something's missing but you're not telling me what it is so I'm asking I'm trying I'm coming from let me try this way okay no all right let me come around this way and you're blocking me at all points so yeah I don't know she was like I said she expected something a certain something she didn't get that certain something and she just put on that wall where she's like I'm here for the check that I get for being here every week and that's it and I'm here to hang out with my friends. Yeah, cause she was hanging tough with Paige and everybody else. Like, and that's the crazy thing is a lot of talk was like they kept focusing on Virginia and how mm-hmm. she wanted to hang out with her friends and do all those other things. But it's like, no, nah, Haley was the one who was out here. Like, she just stayed in the in the apartment building. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I didn't. I but I could. I knew. I was like, there's no point. Like. I'm like, I don't know how, what episode I was just like, they're not going to stay together. It's completely obvious. She's going to drag it because she wants to still be on TV and she wants to be shown a certain way, but it's obvious they're not a couple for each other at all. And it's like, even her friend was telling her, no, ma'am, yeah. so what's wrong with him? Like, so, okay, he doesn't have the greatest style. Yeah. What else? And then Dr. Viviana was like, do you remember what you said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you like, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Jake wouldn't be for me either. Like Jake, I couldn't be married to that him either. I'm not gonna lie. No, but if and this is my point about this show that I was saying, like when I be in the clubhouse, and I'm always saying, if you go to the show for the right reasons, the whole point is you're saying I haven't been able to find my one, but I trust that the experts are gonna be able to find my one. Meaning that you're you're knowing there's a chance you're not gonna be attracted to this person. Right. And you it's know not that's a huge quote, chance. Quote, quote, type. And you're saying to yourself that that looks isn't everything for me. I'm going to be open to looking beyond that. So that means because I'm doing that, even if on paper, Jacob is like a no for me, but because I signed up for this experiment, I'm going to try. Yeah. So that at the end, I can say, listen, I tried. I hung out with him. I talked to him. I asked him stuff about, but we just don't mesh. But that's that's okay. She says that's what she did. Well, they clearly did edit it out and showed nothing to that. <laughs> right, because in her mind, that's I didn't what she did. It. But I feel like she did that for all of three days. And then, because by the time they got back from the... Now, granted, he definitely didn't help by him. No, doing. there's a lot of times he didn't help. A lot of yeah, times. Because it was like, like he would be in the right, and then he would just, like... But even, like, remember they were like, what's something you, you find attractive about? And he's like, her knees. And I'm like, yeah, like, really? Your, her kneecap? Uh, Lord of mercy. <laughs> I just, why why <laughs> i just i don't he needed like okay he needed an amelia yes i was thinking of the whole season like he, he needed someone quirky he needed, at an, he needed an amelia and a hitch <laughs> like he needed hitch and he needed an amelia or or yeah. an either or with Haley, he definitely needed someone needed. open and quirky that likes quirkiness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like someone that is open to weirdness and not t- 
textbook something. Right. Someone like Eric would be good to someone like Haley, maybe, because that's textbook for her. He she and might she, be a little too independent for him. She would be a little too independent, but I mean like she wouldn't find him weird, I don't think. Well, you know, because he's definitely yeah, by exactly. the way, right. Now, I'm not going to lie, like, Jake's not my type, but definitely over the season and towards the end when he grew the beard, I was like, oh, okay, you. That's what the girls in the clubhouse were saying. And Jake, in case you watch this p- podcast, no shade, but you look like a gargoyle. Just <laughs> No shade. It's not, it's not doing it for you. I mean, like, he's still not my type and the chest is way too hairy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mm, too much. Too no much. shade at all, but that's but all like, I thought. But I'm like, okay, you are... You were a handsome man. The beard helps, the salt and pepper. And I, and beard, she, yeah, I agree. It helped a lot. Um, and then like even his style, like when he stopped, I didn't feel, I feel like his style is pretty decent. Like he does jeans in a, in a polo or a jean in a blazer. I see a no, lot. What of, he wore on his feet when he went golfing? He had on boots or hard bottoms. Something like that, that she was it like- wasn't sneakers, and, but she was, <laughs> I was like, okay, I get it, but why is it bothering you exactly. so much? Like, I get it, but I mean, do what you want. But I'm like, that That shows you, she needs someone who's like quirky and who'd find that adorable and be like, oh, that's just Jake. And if yeah. he just came from work, like, yeah, that is, and, and my thing, it's, it's miniature golf. It's not like he's actually out on the green. But then she got mad when she saw that he had worn the shorts. Yeah. The work thing. So it's just like, why does what he do? Why is it that what he does bother you so much? And it definitely has she's she it's for her, it's all about a certain look. It's for and her, it's all not. about like a certain look, a certain thing. And he doesn't fit that mold. Yeah, not at all. But I mean, I wish them, I hope they both find who and what they're looking for apparently jake blocked her on on social media and she's upset about it like well, yeah i'm like why are you upset were you gonna like write him or something were you gonna like his pictures girl by like you act like you couldn't stand to be in the same room with him so why would he he's like hey i did it i stuck it out for the mm-hmm. amount of time that i had to but look we don't have to talk no more like exactly so why <laughs> why am i gonna continue to subject myself to you agree like she she don't know what she wants she crazy and I don't know how many people watching would be like, oh, yes, I want her because <laughs> you, and I'm, you know, there's somebody for everyone. But yeah, I'm a like, girl, you know, there's some people that were like, I like that coldness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Piss me out. But no, Dr. It's, Pepper was like, she's cold. Yeah, I really wish that Dr. Pepper was like on more or they would have shown more of yes. her. and I really wish that when they had done the um one-on-ones with the experts that she mm-hmm. had met with Chris <laughs> listen or even like the decision talking. day I noticed they kept panning the camera away from her <laughs> like let her let her talk to him please let's let's have let's hear this yeah. um but yeah Haley and Jacob I, like I said I think from the beginning it was kind of like a eh, and then it was a no yeah so hmm, what about Ryan and Clara? I, I don't know. I, listen, they have been the couple who I've been so confused about the whole season. I don't get him. I really like, I, because I saw the Ryan that wrote that beautiful vow, those beautiful vows and seemed like so romantic in the beginning. And then I saw mm-hmm. the Ryan that was just it was just weird I I don't get I don't understand him I don't get and then it was like they both I think they I feel like off camera they had a conversation with each other where they were like the whole he told her like just lie all season say we're perfect say we're amazing we'll work on it after mm-hmm. lie because I'm like all she did was lie but then when she would get with her with the girl, she would forget. Exactly. Or in her confessional, she would be like the frustrated. It, apparently, they knew when to catch her. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, the camera was like, you're lying. So we're going like, to catch you. You're like, oh, the frustration's building up. Okay, let's go do your confessional right now. Yep. yep. Confessional. Like, 
everybody else you talk to, oh, we're perfect. We're amazing. 10 out of 10. 10 out, I'm like, no, it's not 10. Like you're complaining all the time. Right. And, and the way they edited, like, especially when they were, um, I think they were at the donut shop or whatever. It made it look like he's trying to have this deep conversation. And, just, she's, and I'm like, so... She's I'll like, be honest. I didn't think he liked her. I did. I, I didn't either. Yeah. Now, I was like, he cannot stand her. I was like, was the same with you from the like, oh, let's be blindfolded. Those vows. I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay. And then it was right. Mm, who is this? And where is the dude that was at the wedding? Like something's not adding up. And then it was just. I definitely, I kind of suspected it, but like as in the beginning, but the, you know, the further along we got in the season, I'm like, he's very, he's being very intentional about what he says and does in front of the camera. And he, I also noticed he made a point to wear some type of Black Lives Matter or something yes. about, you know, yes. Black people or a movement. Like mm-hmm. in the beginning, it was like every time he was on camera, yep. or even in the, um, the, uh, what is it? The Unfiltered unfiltered episodes he always had Mm -hmm. something about black people on and it's like okay you see you're like okay I got this platform I'm gonna yeah I hope y'all know and I'm like is this just part of who you are is it because you're not married to a white woman exactly is it because most of your friends like where is it and I was just like I don't know if it's true but I get the sense of like he got told you're not really black a lot I agree. Well, you're yes. not black enough, which I think is ridiculous. Especially when you see his brother, I think they probably got compared a lot to each other. Oh, definitely. So it's just like, it's like, you're very clearly black now. The way you have cut your hair and how you choose to wear your hair and put all this your mustache. Up. Oh, that mustache was like so confusing. The whole suit, just the look was like, did you want to be on the Monopoly? You want to be Mr. Monopoly? Like, what is it? Because even the material of the suit and, oh, I'm like, hey, to each his own, to each his to own. To each his own, to each his own, yeah. I definitely got the impression that he was just like, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Agreed. Don't embarrass me, which I get, because it's like, hey, I am still a Black man. Yeah, and I'm on TV, and I don't want to feed into any of the stereotypes, especially when you saw how Chris was acting. Yes, because he, like I said, he was very calculated in what he said, how he said it. Agreed. And it's like for her to be saying all the stuff she was saying, and to even still want to be with him. I'm like, what? Is Agreed. That's that's, that's that's why. It was hard for me to get this couple because I was like, we're getting a performance couple right now. We're not getting who really Clara, like, I mean, we see who Clara is, but yeah. as every episode goes, it whoever Clara is was getting dimmed and dimmed and dimmed. And Definitely. then it was a separate woman. Right. Who, and that's why I'm like, hold up. Is he, is he trying to change her? Like telling yeah. her she can't be who she is? Cause you know, at the beginning it was like, Hey, you need to talk a little less. Mm-hmm. And I was like, in that situation, I wholeheartedly agree. That was not your, that was not your place, yeah. not your area. Yeah. Yeah. Stay out of other people's situations. Cause then I got to fight you like, girl, come on. I don't got time. Right. But then yeah. it was just like, wait, hold up. Cause she had made a comment about like feeling like, or making sure you don't lose yourself mm-hmm. in it. And I'm like, well, hold up. If is he telling you or like what is going on here so I started to get a little concerned but then watching the reunion and listening to watching them it's like oh they are actually (laughs) touching (laughs) and she's not the one initiating it but then even though the reunion was weird too they like why is Kevin making you say I love you right like you gotta you have a wedding you're planning and you haven't said I love you Right, like why y'all renewing your vows? I'm confused. Yeah, like so that part I did appreciate Kevin being petty for. Like, yes, let's go ahead and get this out. But but if that happened to you, would you think that's genuine? No. Oh, I'd be right? all kind of questions. He would have got a look right then and there. But you know me and these facial expressions, we wouldn't have made it that far. In right, here. like so but, you can tell me you oh, love me last had, week. Why you, didn't- you had to get on the camera to say this? We didn't been off camera for how long? Yeah. And I still wouldn't get you off every. <laughs> like, Don't even get me started on that one. 
I was just like, wait, huh? But yeah, it it, it there were I I guess as of the reunion, they're still together and they were planning a vow renewal or whatever. Yeah, they, I mean, they seem more natural, I, I would say, in the reunion, but it still seemed rehearsed. Very much so. I just it, think it, whenever the camera around, Ryan is like, action. Yes, you going you are going to get this representative, <laughs> especially because when they had oh, yes. when he was talk, Kevin was talking to just all the men, and the men were describing him as like this fun, like the one to get the party started, and I'm like, yeah, where who? Yes, but it was almost like with last season when at the end they were talking about how Henry was really that's true outgoing and it's like that's how he really is and it's some people just don't do well on camera which I get and I could completely understand because I that's why I wouldn't sign up for something like that because I know I probably don't do well on camera I would do I would like people I was like would you do it yes off camera exactly if it wasn't being recorded like even what love is blind like yes but don't record it uh I, love is blind it's so much i feel like more even though i don't know why everything has to end with the wedding or whatever but yeah, I'm like, I can we just date <laughs> like do i have to get like i have to agree to get married yeah. but i like the process of love is blind a lot better just because i feel like it's a little slower it's slower and you get you still get to choose. It's like it's removing, yeah. it's still arranged to an extent, but you yeah. still have the opportunity to get to know them before you make that commitment. And then even after you say it, mm-hmm. you don't like you're you have to wait, you have to get engaged. Yeah. And so, but you still have a chance to actually be, you know, interact with them face to face before you say, okay, I want to get married. Which it seems like Cameron and um, Lord, what's her name? Lauren. Lauren. They seem to. They do seem. Strong. Yeah, they seem to be good together. I think I feel like that's the is that the only no Barnett and the Amber. I think her name is. I think. Yeah. I don't follow them on Instagram, so I'm I don't surprised. Know. That's the one thing I have to like. I'm so into these shows I have to keep up but then I fall off after a while but I have to keep up for a little bit at least just to see like I wasted my time watching y'all for weeks right was so it I'm worth it continue what's telling me what's I, I'm invested in your life now I feel like I'm a part of your family so, exactly. so are we happy or not what's happening right but yeah so I, I don't I do follow Cameron and Lauren so I see that stuff I don't know about the others um but yeah so hopefully ryan and claire now that they're off camera it's exactly they can grow because i do think the religion thing might be a thing that they have to oh most definitely because the way and i'm like i don't know if this is the edits but the looks he was given when she was talking about them like yeah so that's gonna be something i feel like that's gonna be another roadblock that they're gonna have to deal with and hopefully because it's not cameras she'll be more like Clara, who seemed in the beginning like, I'm going to tell you how it is, and I'm not afraid to speak right. my mind. Yeah. yeah. And I'm also curious to, like, how it's worked with his parents, because we didn't see them after the yeah. wedding. And I don't know if maybe they just lived somewhere else, or they just didn't want to be on camera, but I'm like... Maybe, because was- I follow his brother, because he's cute. Mm-hmm. I follow, yeah. But he don't, he don't really post about Ryan like that, so I don't know. Because <laughs> I thought at the end he would be like, my brother said yes. This right. day, but he's like, that's fine. Like, mm, yeah, he over there. Um, yeah. But yeah. On his page. Right. I'm just real curious of like how that worked. Or yeah. Because there was a lot of talk about him talking to her parents and that whole thing. So, but like I said, I hope it works out for them. Me too. Me too. So. Okay. Who's next? Uh, Virginia and Eric? Oh, yeah, Eric and Virginia. <laughs> I did not from the beginning. I was like, there's no way. There's this, it just no. can't. Like, what were y'all doing? Why would you do this? I thought after the honeymoon, Eric was going to be like, who? Um, I tap out. This is too much. But, and then it was like, the further it went along, I'm like, he is controlling. I need you to tap out, Virginia. Like, because there's all these mm-hmm. ultimatums that, but I don't give ultimatums. It's, 
when he gave her those coordinates as a gift <laughs> that were literally numbers on a you got numbers blown you wasted money to get numbers that she that mean nothing to her really the coordinates yeah you gave I her coordinates as a as an anniversary gift that you had to legitimately explain explain because my whole thing is he was like you know how we always pass by the place where we got married and you always say i wonder where it is like why not put a picture of that right and then put the coordinates under it since these coordinates mean so much to you he thought he was doing something okay girl he thought he was really doing something since the beginning i know everybody's gonna laugh back but i when since the beginning when the first first of all i, I could tell she was a mess from the get-go with them purple with that purple eyeshadow <laughs> and, and i was like we are her friends to tell her to take that off they are not here then she's like taking shots back left and right and his mother's standing there looking like hmm? where My did they God. get this, right, this like the i already mother. wasn't a fan of this Right, the mother's like, "What in the world?" No, no, she's not from the country club. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. You already know that's what the mom was thinking. So then I was like, um, "What?" Um, the way he was grinning, I kept saying to everybody, I felt like it was this old man that came to a frat party and was like looking at the young sorority girls, and one came up to him and he was just like, ha ha ha, I got her. Like that's how it came off to me. Like he was just, the way he kept kissing her. He was, yes, like the way he kept kissing her, he's like, oh my God, we love each other. It's already great. Like, I feel, I'm like, oh, relax. Like, it was, oh, it, he gave me creepy old man vibes. Um, and then it was like, he just, this whole, I got to save you. I got to fix you. Yes. Because yes, I don't think she was ready for marriage. I 100% don't think. Mm -hmm. I think she has a lot to work on for herself before she could even be ready for marriage. But that man is crazy. Yeah, I don't think she's as, he made it seem like she just, her, our upbringings where she had such a rough childhood. Like it yeah. really, it was not that it wasn't rough or she didn't have things to go through, but it wasn't rough in the way he was making it seem like. It just kept yeah. seeing, making it seem like, his life was so much better than hers because both of his, his parents stayed together and mm -hmm. his mom just basically sounds like did what his dad wanted and my dad's a pilot and she adjusted and this is what it is and I need you to do this and then acting like he was the expert on marriage. Exactly, like you, yours sure. didn't work out, so calm down. You're, you're here too, you're, do, you're yeah. on the same show as me. So clearly you something you did didn't work, especially because on so one hand, he made it seem like the marriage was like a convenience kind of thing because he yeah. was in the military but then it went on for so long. like so what was it I don't and then his whole allergy thing I don't believe he's allergic because he was not allergic to them cats okay and that was before I saw the little post of the picture from back in the day with him and a cat like oh. of, the way he talked about it and then when they went to her house and yeah she had to tell you that they were there like exactly he just didn't want no cats he was like i'm not a cat person so i'm gonna just lie and say i'm allergic yeah no, then you her, get rid of them. like what yeah. sir i just met you her affinity for those cats is well, they, and that's the, they sleep in my nooks and my crannies like what? listen she is a cat person and she loves her pets i it is what it is yeah <laughs> I, hey, to each his own. I love my dog. I cannot judge. Uh, Here you go. I don't believe ISIS is all in your nooks and crannies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just leave it at that. I don't think, I mean, unless a whole lot has changed. I know, you know, I know we don't talk every day. <laughs> you know, I get that we don't talk and see each other every day. <laughs> but... I don't believe. Yeah. I think I'm <laughs> wrong. No, you are not wrong. But I'm just saying, I understand the love you have for your pet that, you know, people show in different ways. They do. And that's, hey, side note, like two weeks ago, I was seriously, for like 10 seconds, I was about to be like, I'm getting a dog. Get one, like, girl. Yes. And, then, and a pit bull at that. It was like a puppy. Oh, that would be like, cute. I was like, it's so cute. I've never seen them look like this. 
rethink it, go back and do it again. But seriously, you have, to have a dog. I feel like if you have the room and the time, get one. Why not? They're, dogs are your best friends. Room, yes. Time, I don't know. You know, I still be on the go. And the whole having to find somewhere for them to for the dog to stay. While gotcha. I'm yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah that yeah, part yeah. concerns me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, like mom, dad, hi here. And, that, and my mom, no, my mom, my mom is someone who claims she's allergic <laughs> to okay, dogs, and that's the to. other reason I figured he was lying because I'm like, yeah. no, because my mom claims she's allergic to dogs and cats. Mm-hmm. I believe maybe cats, but. No, she just doesn't like them and she's afraid of them. That's that's where I've, I I've landed like on that. So couldn't leave them with her. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. Eric was definitely like scaring me, making me nervous about her. It was especially that, I guess that week or whatever, where it seemed like her anxiety was getting really, really that's- high. And it was like, she was realizing like, hold up, I can't do this. This is too much. Yeah. And you're not, you're not hearing me. You just keep basically saying my way is the right way. And I agree, she's, she, it didn't seem like she was ready for marriage, but I don't think she was as far off as he was trying to make it seem. Like, the whole, like, this is how marriage goes. I think she was right in saying we should define, we get to define what our marriage looks like, what works for us. Now you, this whole sleeping over at your guy friend's house thing, I feel like that was just her being petty and like I'm. I just, think so. I feel like she just pushed. There were times when she was pushing the button. Yeah, because it's like I just gotta, like you gotta know that that like yeah, man, I, gotta, I need you to have a different comeback. I need you to have a different one yeah, because yeah. I want to be with you. But that. But I can't um, exactly. Like I'm yeah, like, but I'm not fair. Not fair. Yeah. But yeah. So but no, it, she, I felt like he loved to make it portray it that like she was broken and he was put he was mad for her to fix her and she's like I don't want you to fix me that's not what I'm looking for and that's why she really didn't want to jump and move in with him because she can sense the controlling crazy person that he had in him and she was like if I leave my house and move in with you it's over I have no say and even the fact that you know she has her room I yeah, think she spends a lot more time in her room than she does in their room. I agree. Room. I think so. Because I mean, I feel like with the way her personality is, his job is perfect for her. Like the fact that he's that's not an there idea. half the time, like that's a great marriage. It's just hopefully he's brought down his personality a lot because he was just a lot. Like he was so controlling. And then his whole my way or the highway, like every other minute, you're like, do this or it's over. Yeah, I mean, if, if that is a deal breaker, I mean, if not, yeah. I mean, and it's just the way he, this, yeah, this, the smugness, just it was like mm, you're oozing even with the dog, smug yeah. even with the dog. Like my dog is perfect, your dog is a mess. Yeah, like you. And, that's basically and what talk, you're saying. And then talking about yeah, you know, he's like Rocky's like his mom. It just they need yep. some structure. They need this and like you're comparing. First of all, you're comparing her to a dog, a dog let alone saying that the dog is hyper and she is too like oh and when you're not around rocky doesn't do this and rocky doesn't do that stop talking to her like she's a child and she's the she's the animal herself like it's exactly how do you i mean he and i don't know they like they clearly like had conversations before the reunion because when they were asking about that stuff her response was very much i'm going to be in support of my husband yeah even when, and when his mom came out why what was the point of that so she wanted to show like i feel like the show portrayed me to be a certain way so i want to come out to be like i love her like we accept her i don't think she's trash i I know no 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 i didn't want to at first maybe at first i did but now no she's it's it's that was all i feel like all of them had media training okay most definitely except well no even chris had it at the beginning and then he forgot it I don't know what yeah he has some type of training yeah. I don't know what it was he started a lot of that coaching or something because a lot of them came so different rehearsed and it just didn't seem like a lot of it was genuine Not I hope the ones that are still together it works out but I was surprised she I didn't like the way the fact that he said it first I feel like kind of trapped her yes I was like why especially then he proposed <laughs> yes <laughs> I felt like that trapped her that she had to say yes because I'm like she had so many doubts that I didn't think she was gonna stay I was kind of surprised 
And I think but I think she wants point. that stability too. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think, but even the whole thing about they haven't them having different political views and how he talked about that, I'm just like, I don't see how that works. But like, I, mean, I don't see uh, like so. You're just it's almost like she's agreeing or they're agreeing to be. You're committing to being unhappy or yeah. limited, having limited happiness. Like you're agreeing Agreed. to having this. We're real passionate over here, and then we're real crazy and, and fighting over here. Yeah. But when we go out in public, it's all good. And I'm like, I don't, I don't want to sign. I don't want to willingly sign up for that, let alone blindly. Exactly. I listen. I hope. Like I, I don't know. I don't see it lasting, but I could be surprised. I don't. You never know. You know. No. Don't you know think that. though. But you don't. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now stop lying girl I, mm, who knows stranger things have happened like agree the, the agree. people who will probably be together that have no business being together is chris and Paige. because i want to believe all the stuff she said about you know, learning and realizing I got focused on yeah, the wrong idea, thing. which I completely understand. Like I've been there and I think a lot of us, yeah. especially women, I think a lot of us have gotten, they've been at that point of like caught up in, I want the relationship or the idea yeah. of, of something that you're willing to overlook <laughs> the things uh, right in your face. But it's like, but no, but, but we're together and we can yeah. be. And so I get that, but I just like hers went to a whole different level. Agreed. I, I listen. I I don't know how many times I yelled at Paige at the TV every week. I felt like I was yelling at Paige, and then I got to a point where like I'm not gonna yell at her. I'm over it. Good yeah. luck, Paige. Because the from 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 jump, Chris was problematic. Listen. I don't know any of my friends close or we, even if we used to be close and we not that close no more, like, I don't know any, anyone that has ever been close to me that would hear him say something, would hear someone say something like that and would be, would not say something to me. Like if I'm that, you know, far gone that I'm just like, I don't care. Right. That's one thing, but I don't understand how. how you heard all of him he said all of that didn't sugarcoat it he was real like he said at least i'm being honest yep but you hear all of that you're like oh, okay have a good time right like i get you don't want to ruin her day i hear oh, blah 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 i get all that whatever but the next I'm not morning, gonna I'm not going to bash you on TV, so I'm going to take you aside. We're going to go to the bathroom. We're going to do all that. I'm like, listen, you are gonna you could do with this what you will, but I just want to let you know some of the flags I saw because none of us know him. So I just want to let you know these are the flags I've seen already. Do with it what you will. And then for the next day, him to claim he had a panic attack because he looked at you? Looking at you gave him a panic attack? I could not laugh at that, but the way you put it. (laughs) Because it was just like in the moment, I didn't really, it was like, as I was watching it, I didn't, especially because I think I had to go back and rewatch that part because the first couple episodes were just so long. I I had to keep stopping. But then it's like, when I actually processed what he said, Like to, I mean, unless they cut out a lot, she had a very calm reaction. Because to me, I'm like, wait, you just found out you wasn't attracted to me? Was you blind yesterday? Like, what's happening? I'm confused. You didn't know you wasn't attracted to me before, or you knew and you just didn't care because you got what you wanted. And then it's like, all right, I can't get a moment, I guess, or whatever. Cause I, but I can still walk out this show today. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. It was so many things just on that honeymoon. Or even the, I don't completely understand why she told his parents. That that was the most uncomfortable conversation ever. (laughs) 
Because I'm like, even if I know the, if I have known you for a while, it would be weird. But like, I legit just met y'all last night. His dad was being creepy and disrespectful. Like, there's so many things. She was going so into details. Like, not once, not twice. But I'm like, hey, they don't even know all that. But even like, and I'm even thinking back to the wedding. Some of the stuff he said to Paige. Yeah. But she was eating it up. Which is what confused me. Like she was sitting there smiling. Like I'd have been like, "Sir, I just met you. Relax." Like you really think he that cute? Like the only thing I know. The only thing she really, I feel like, took pause on was how many times he kept mentioning Mercedes. Right. Which was that's what I'm saying. There were or whoever else the other girl is. I don't even know who he was talking about. He was talking about one of the exes. But that's the only thing I, the only time I saw her stop and go, this is weird. Like, this is our wedding day. And you talked about your ex more than once. I don't, and then like, I'm telling you, like, it, it drove me crazy how she kept saying, God, it's God's will. So I'm going to keep, I'm like, the Lord is shaking his head. Like, stop it. Yo, don't call that, my name, girl. That part? And like I said, I didn't done. I'm a like, whole no, that's of, you telling yourself, right? And I didn't done a whole lot of growing in that area, and just of like God said, God yeah. did, like, like, ma'am, mm-mm, he gave us free will, and yes, he he may uh, he may have allowed this to happen, yeah. but God ordaining it, ma'am, mm-mm. you got choice, so you should have chose to get on up. Like you had what he said, he told you he thought you was ugly, you should have left. He told you the girl was pregnant. You should like I'd like I didn't sign up for this Maury special. I gotta and go. Then he said, "I still love her," all within the first week of your marriage. Then when it's time to go back home, he says, "I'm going to Chicago because I need a break." Nigga, from break what? what? We just I met. Need, I need a break from you and all the stress and turmoil you have put. You have you have brought fifteen years of stress and turmoil onto my life in seven days and then you just gonna leave and then got to nerve to in his his ability which it was it was frustrating to watch him but then it's like to see how it was actually working on her because it's like he was he had a way of flipping everything Mm -hmm. and making it seem like he was the victim yeah she went and talked to his parents yeah and then Oh, you don't respect me and blah, blah, everything about respect. And he, and I'm all for men being in touch with their emotions. Like I, I'm all in support of it, but he was doing it in a way that was like a cop out. Manipulative. Yeah. Yeah. These tears or these fake tears and your ashy ankles just is not working for me. It was like, to the point of, I was legit like getting, I was like mad and hot. Like I can't, to the point of like, I can't, well, I'm going to have to not watch this because <laughs> This man that I don't know is like legit causing me stress. When he said to her, like, and you know, I also felt like he was manipulative because he knew the things to say to get her like coming right back. Yeah. Like when he, after he said he wasn't attracted to you or whatever, he's like, I'm spiritually attracted to you. And then here come her grin. And I'm like, girl, that's making you smile. Stop it. And then he's like, yeah, you know, even though that's the case, you're my wife. So you come first, you come before and then, the child. And, and I'm like, always, that stupid grin that would come on her face when he would just say one thing. And I'm like, after all the things he's proven, that one statement, just erase be, all of that in your brain. She would have her head down. Mm-hmm. Because like I said, I was like, I said in the clubhouse one time, she's clearly either the church or her family someone has put in her brain that a woman's ultimate goal in life is to be married once you have been married you won you won at life you won at monopoly you are good so for her she feels like she won and she's trying to keep that win as long as she can as hard Mm -hmm. as she can even though it's obvious you ain't happy you want a a sinking ship but she is she did that band on the titanic that was like we gonna play till we go down like I just (laughs) but it's so that like legit like watching that this season and specifically them brought up Mm -hmm. so many things that I'm just like of how the church specifically the black church there's so much toxicity and so many double standards of things that are told to women 
about yeah. marriage and how you're supposed to interact and it's just like it was so clear of how yes y'all both grew up in church but you had mm-hmm. two different messages and exactly he, he legitimate believes that he was doing the right thing and that he's uh-huh. like, I mean, I'm being honest, and like apparently that's what your daddy told you because your dad said some foolishness. Like, well, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, ha- I'm proud of him for being honest. Um, honesty, you still got to have some grace on it and some tact. Exactly. But it was just so much that it's just like, what happened? I don't even know that something happened to you because like a lot of people chats I'm in and people talking about her self esteem and this, that, and the third. And I'm yeah. just like, I-, I think there's some of it, but I think it's also just she legit believed and possibly still does to this day Mm -hmm. that God brought them together and it's meant to be. Someone um, in the clubhouse I was in said that they thought she used it as an excuse. Like she knew the relationship wasn't good, but she didn't really want to delve too deep or examine. So she used God as like a wall. So it's like, I don't have to look, I don't have to examine it because if I tell myself God wants this for me, I don't have to look too closely because I'm just supposed to follow what God wants me to do. So I don't got to look too closely at what's going, what's wrong. Right. I don't have to look at too closely at him or at me. I don't yeah. have to really deal with, and this was like, it was a couple of times, you know, she said the right stuff. She came real big and bad. Like, I ain't that kind of girl. You got me out here. Yep. And then he said two words and you came back. Like I, when I, they played that pool game, I was like, if I was there, I would break the pool and slap you both with it. Mm. And then that whole, oh, host a Bible study. But sir, you talking about you supposed to be the leader. You're the man. And if, if we don't talk about we need to be doing this in accordance with God's will, then you lead. Why are you having her lead everything? Oh, you need, well, what did you prepare for us to say? Nothing. I, I figured you could lead. You, so, you again, lead. another game, just game after game after game. After game. And she kept. And I'm like, I know that y'all get fined if you, if you like leave too soon, but like, ma'am, how much of this is because you trying to not breach your contract? Like, agree. And that's the thing I want them to show, like really explain that because like with Henry and Olivia, they didn't go to the end. And what happened was they would just show them, but they would right. show them separately. So that's why I'm like, is that part of the caveat that says, if you end, you still got to be on the show though. Like you can end the relationship, but you still got to be on the show. Cause if that's what it is, then girl, then you could have still kept filming yourself by and yourself. I, and I, it seemed like the experts was willing to go to bat for her on the, you know, we gonna, we just need to let her out. Like this is, yeah. this is too much. I like, really, I'm like, I need Oprah. I need someone bring her family and do an interview. Cause I really, really want to understand the whole mind frame. Where were they? The whole show. What, right what and like I need to un- like her friend didn't explain her fake friend didn't explain nothing she came there dressing her ball ground just want to save face because people were coming mm-hmm. for her on social media. right because she was she was she was the one that I thought was going to say something me too because she was challenging him as he was mm-hmm. saying this stuff so I'm like oh she definitely gonna pull her to the yeah. side and be like and even the whole season, I'm like, I hope somebody, like, who is she calling to, to vent to? Like, she's, I know she's not, she's not taking all of this in. Like, I get you're going to, exactly. you're going to hold some of it, and, but it's like, somebody knows what's going on. But then you, not, you had the scene with the brother and you're like, okay. I'm like, when I saw her brother, I was like, yes. yes okay. I'm like, finally. And it and seemed then, like her brother and her sister, I don't know what he even said. <laughs> But it seemed like her sister-in-law was more of the one, like, yeah, giving her words. And then I'm like, I hope like, that that said, run. Like that's that would be, listen. If I was there, I'd be like, listen, girl, I love you, but you look stupid right now. You right, and stupid. I'm just like, I a lot hope. of red flags. I need you to listen to the red flags. Listen, or you know what? I'm gonna speak in her language. I'm be like, hey, Paige, I had a dream last night. Jesus told me to come here and tell you to leave. The Lord told me, told me to tell, give you this message. Period of uneasiness on you. <laughs> you got the message wrong, Paige. <laughs> and that <laughs> you heard it wrong. Yeah, the situation you're in, this is not my will for you, my child. At all. <laughs> like, but it's, it's just, okay it's, to come. Let's go. Right, and then when her friend came on the reunion saying, "Oh well, we I wasn't on camera because you know I'm not as polished as she is." About like, ma'am, like, what are you even saying? It, for me, I felt like she was saying, "I didn't come on on stage because I'm not stupid like Paige, and I would have went wild on him, and she didn't want that kind of look on TV." 
but then you're gonna say my friend's not okay she has a lot of healing to do <laughs> i just i was like you didn't even need to come on stage you didn't even need like, to come on stage you did you made it worse in my mind she exactly. made it worse because I, agree. Like, I thought she was gonna say well we you know we weren't on camera but we were talking to her we were doing this that exactly. and that. She like they never fully lot. explained that they never because she was on clubhouse because i told you i'd be on clubhouse the friend mm -hmm. and a lot of the time she would make it seem like they were there but that they just didn't feel like for some reason they didn't put it on tv but that the family was there but then the other times when she would say we weren't there so i don't know what the truth is um if you didn't sign that waiver no they're not gonna show you they're not gonna film you they're not gonna and I just, it just, to me, it's like, yo, because then I, when it was like, she's adult, I'm like, yo, where are her friends? Where yeah. are her sororers? Where are the older sororers? Somebody need to come tap her it, on the shoulder and come on, baby, let's have a conversation. Like the closest I felt like she got to that during the season was with Shady Pat, with, with you know, questionable Pat Dwight, like. The sexy Pat Dwight. <laughs> with his. He still look good. Don't play his, I don't care. <laughs> You gave Jacob, you gave Jacob get, a pass. I didn't even get it out. I didn't even get you it out. Jacob <laughs> you gave Jacob a pass. You better give him up. You better give pass to Dwight a pass. You, you're right. He is attractive. He is. Okay. Is, he is. I just wish he would not. Um, if he would not do the Beijing Sharpie Michael situation. Um, or just can we get it? I okay. I need, since this is clearly still a thing, I need them to come up with some different shades of it. So that way it blends a bit better. Someone told me, okay, so hush. Yeah, and he, he looked nice. He he can hang a suit real well. That's girl. And him and Chris looked like they was almost matching <laughs> on the reunion. This is, he wore it way better than Chris did. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, it was just, I feel like that was the best advice or it was the closest she got to somebody yeah. outside of the experts because of they even they didn't say they didn't come right out and say yeah leave they you know and, and maybe they couldn't contractually say that yeah. um but they did you know said as much as they could but i just i thought it was great but also strange that he's the one who comes to say you don't need this, don't, you don't deserve this, blah, 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 whatever. Supposedly there's a rumor that he was trying to get with her. I but I heard that he was either, he's either married or he has someone. That's what, cause she said, she, I think she had a picture of something and someone was like, you need to get with him. And she said, he's taken on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I just know like while the season was airing, it was like supposedly. Yeah, I know that's what Chris said. That's what I right, think Right, which I, that other thing is like, so you just don't follow protocol for anything. Which is another contradiction of you saying you this is God we need to have God in it but you can't follow a contract where supposedly y'all are not supposed to be on social media hmm. or anything while the season is airing but you just out here going to town getting into spats and stuff with with a little bit of everybody like I don't know if you have heard about the bald and the beautiful. But I've heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I usually will. Um, it's uh Kev on stage, his wife, Melissa, um, Angel and Marcus Tanksley. Like they that's one of the ones that I watch regularly. Okay. But apparently, uh Chris and uh Jake have have listened or watched theirs and sent mm -hmm. them DMs. And so Chris has sent um Marcus a DM like a couple times throughout the season of like mm -hmm. them doing the reviews and got you know talking spicy about like you know come see me type of stuff and so i'm just like sir you're you're just you're just out here being reckless he he came on the clubhouse one one night he had a room oh. and oh, he had God. these two ladies who they said they don't know him or whatever, but they were, so they went on a whole tirade about how reality TV paints black men a certain way. So they're painting Chris a certain way. He's not like that. And that he couldn't talk about it because he's 
the show is technically still on, but they mm-hmm. for 30 minutes waxed on and waxed off about how he's an amazing person and how we need to be there for our brother and stop letting reality TV let them paint listen. So then when people will come up, they were like, we'll let people come up to ask him a question, but it can only be about his business. He can only talk about his business. He can't talk about the show. Mm-hmm. So you know, people, they're not listening to you. So people will come up and be <laughs> right. like, you, you blaming the show, but those were your words. The show didn't put those words in your mouth. And he they would just kick them off the stage whenever they said anything negative. <laughs> so he don't want to, he only want to talk about was his subways. So does he still have them? He was talking about somebody, he got another one and about how he used to let people, who, his workers who were homeless stay in his house. And girl, it was just him there for an hour talking about how he's an amazing person. That's all it was. And I had to leave because I was like, I'm not, Mm -mm. Um, i'm not buying just selling i i get yes reality tv does portray people but he was he they didn't have to do anything you gave they didn't make you they didn't make you tell pastor cal all these beautiful women in the world all the beautiful spanish white this and you give me her and then pastor cal's like but what's wrong with her her face they they didn't make you say that yeah like you did all of that on your own which that was another thing that Kevin and the show was shady about playing that back for people like like, like, yeah, she was dumb, like she been enough. right um but it's just it's to the point of like I don't even want to look at it like looking at his face makes me, agree ugh, like agree. you're just and a lot I know a lot of people complain about the the um the experts like they felt like they weren't there enough. And like I said, I do agree that I feel like either the show, the whole point was to show that Paige was alone. Like, I don't know if that was the angle they wanted for her. Like that was the, because it was weird. Cause it's like everybody else, you see family, you see friends, but with Paige, you see no one. And then you see the right. brother, but that was really nothing either. So I don't know if that was the angle of the show, but I definitely feel like someone, like, I get it. You can't say to her, like, leave him. But I felt like like that one time when Dr. Pepper was saying to her, like, he's a narcissist, like, he's this. He's like, that's the most realist I felt like anybody was with her on that whole show to say to her, like, you know why he did that? Because he wants you to feel bad. He's a, he's a narcissist. He's conniving. Like, these are the things he do. But I agree, like, when there was that decision day and Dr. Pepper said, was it Dr. Pepper or uh, Pascal? One of them said, I'll be honest, I can't not hate him for Paige. Paige has to hate him for herself. Yeah, I think that so was the Dr. Cal, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I can talk because I'm blue in the face. Paige has to agree, uh, uh, see and notice him for who he is and accept that and say, I don't want to be with him. So that's why, because you know, they said that day, that's why they had to do it another day because they Mm -hmm. took so long with Paige and Chris because they were trying to get them like, you can't just say, we don't know. Like we need a decision. And she kind of beat him out on the dramatics that day, like. Ma'am, what is because he because he apologized and he you found out he had a miss she had a miscarriage like it was weird like it was like it she was like oh there's no baby great we could be together now and it's like but ma'am that wasn't the issue you had an issue before you found out he had a baby the man told you he thought you he didn't say you were ugly he didn't say he thought you were ugly he said he didn't find you attractive Mm -hmm. and I and he showed you numerous ways that he don't respect you. Numerous ways that he didn't really want to, he didn't really care about you. Like, I don't know how many times someone has to show you something. When they show you who you are, believe them. And she was not, she was not believing it. She was like, no, no, no. And it, it's just so And then weird. when he, remember when he whispered to her? Oh. Oh my God, I'm scared to fall in love with you. I was like, yo, I couldn't be a producer on that show. Because I'd be like, that ain't what you said to pass the cow 20 minutes ago. Right. It was so many, all of them, like, let me lean in and whisper, like, why? Why, sir? And and even, even at the reunion, it didn't sound like she was completely over him, like. Yeah. Cause that's I'm, my, that's my thing. I don't, like, even, even at, the, yeah, even at the reunion, I feel like she only speaks up for herself or was real when he wasn't there. But if he's there, yeah, it was like they best friends, and like she's like, I see him, whatever. But once he's gone, she's like, I can't. That's his problem. He needs to fend for himself. I'm not gonna talk to him. And I'm like, now you found your voice because he's not there, girl. But you just got up and went after him when he went out. Like you stay, you still like, running after him. 
I wouldn't like be surprised fear, if they had not Text her, she would, yeah, she would go run it back. And I wouldn't be surprised if they haven't filed for divorce yet. I wouldn't either. I mm-hmm. hope, I really hope after that, she went to, th- she went to therapy and had like a really good, nice, comp- like saw, looked at the, watch the show, first of all, really watch it, maybe with a therapist. <laughs> yeah, I, would, I think that she to be there for yeah. a little while and then and like really and, and let that therapist say like listen cease all communication with chris right now at least for at least now like finish watching the show finish formulating your thoughts before you let him seep in with any of his foolishness and then if after all that you choose to still be with, that's on you boo like i can't make it but i would say until you finish watching that whole show and actually be able to digest it all and come with a this, like understanding of what happened and how were you treated, you shouldn't be talking to him. It, it was just so much, so, so much. I... I need them to like, I hope for Texas, like realize where you went wrong. Forget this opposites of tracks or whatever. Yeah. You need to ask real questions that it, clearly y'all weren't asking, like find out. Do you want kids? How soon do you want these kids? And then don't put them with someone who says, I don't want kids for five years. Like, they don't, that don't make sense. And I'm wondering, I know that they, I feel like it was rushed this, this yeah. season or something because they had just, like the pandemic was still going on. That's another thing. There were no masks in sight for <laughs> most of this. Like when Girl, it was Atlanta. Like, so I know, but I was just like, uh, social media told us coronavirus skipped over Atlanta okay yeah you know it never it never <laughs> shut down but it's yeah. just like I I it's to me it y'all had just you had to delay finishing the New Orleans season because mm-hmm. the pandemic started so that means you had started you had already I mean obviously they probably had already started the casting process but I just feel like that was rushed and 100%. I'm hoping that that's not the case for this Texas. Dallas, season. right? I mean, is Dallas. it Dallas? I don't know. I just know Texas. I just know Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where. Dallas makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I hope they don't rush it. I hope they, like I said, like really sit and ask like the questions you used to ask. Because I feel like it's now it's become more produced type of show instead of organic like it used to be. So I'm like, I get it good for ratings or whatever but like come on let's try to make it seem like you try this season seemed like it was pure for ratings and it, it was the I, I season. they did because i'm like i don't know who thought these matches worked because the but only one and brianna and vincent from the beginning were they were the only ones that i was like maybe but maybe. even them, exactly. i was like, like, I see why they were matched yeah but I, even them i wasn't like oh it's a definite like they definitely yeah. have woody and amani no i don't know who keeps saying that that's who they're like because i'm like no i mean maybe. They, if in the context of this season <laughs> they're the woody and amani they're the woody and amani of this season but no they're they're no i will give them they the karen and miles of this right season. they know woody and amani yeah, maybe even a um. Well, no, they they're not Amelia and, and Bennett, but like, yeah, they they, they, some, they, yeah, like yeah. they they definitely it's like yes, out of these five, out of these other four hot messes yeah. of the situation, Woody and Imani, that's like once in a blue moon. I feel like like that just, they just click like yeah. the, the vibes just worked. There, Woody and Imani, I would say is almost like the equivalent of like Morin and um Cameron from Love Is Blind of just like, yeah. Like it just worked. Yeah. It, even the issues weren't exactly their issues were nothing compared to other people's challenges. But like like I said, the beginning I thought Brianna and Benton was like, oh, okay, I could see it. Mm-hmm. It definitely during the honeymoon, it was like, okay, he's wooing her. They're, you know, they got yeah. this whole thing. But then when they got home and like actually living, I was like, who? She real structured, yeah, girl. Which real I type A. It was, you know, as as a, as a fellow type A, <laughs> fellow type A er. Um, I get it, but then it's just uh-huh. like, who, uh, ma'am. But the whole yeah. the you got to get up early thing, I didn't. I still don't understand. Yeah, what like, girl, 
I don't have work right now. I like sleep. Leave me alone. And then even when I think it was Dr. Pepper, like was like, well, what about on certain days you all get up early together and then he can sleep in the others? But why? I'll see you on the weekend or something. Like, girl, leave me alone. Like, (laughs) I just want, especially if I we work different type of hours. Why can't I enjoy my sleep? If I've been working at night, I'm tired. How about that? Yeah, I don't know fully know what he does, but which I don't either. Some will cause when she heartbreaker. Yeah, like when she was following him and like, make sure you pick up this or you put. I'd be like, yo, yo, I knew he was getting annoyed with it during the honeymoon. Yes. Like chill out, relax a little. Ma'am. You're not. I didn't ask for personal cleanup right behind me. He was giving me Joan Clayton like first couple seasons of girlfriends vibes, like ma'am. And then his red flags, where I was like, sir, you was like, I get, like I get the whole not wanting to be embarrassed on TV. I can understand that, but like, really, like you just do a lot. Like I get it. Like I don't like to do things that I'm uncomfortable with if I feel like I'm being embarrassed because I don't like to be embarrassed either. So I get it, but I'm not going to have such a visceral reaction and just like, just talk it about like it. It was, it was worse. Than a, it was like a child having a tantrum, but, yeah, but like, it's worse because you're, you're a pretty big man. Yeah, <laughs> and like, calm down. Like even with the dance, like you, she knows you like dance and she didn't get the right dance. Okay. Like dance and then be done with it like that just say afterwards say to her like that was fun but we can check that off the list <laughs> like make it in a joke but yeah. you really mean it and then he but, but the awesome. horse thing like i get it okay if if i told you beforehand i don't like horses don't try to surprise me with horses well you know like, i was with him on that and then he even he pushed through and got on it but i was with them like if if i told you i don't for one it's you're surprising me with something that I don't like or you didn't even ask me about. And now I can't really say no because yeah. already, you know, we've already been through this. I've you now you already know how I feel about yeah. getting embarrassed. And like he he does need to grow up a bit in the sense of yeah, like agreed. having a bit tougher skin. But I also think sometimes I feel like she was just she was just kind of sticking her finger in the wound just because yeah. she could yeah. like because I'm not going this is who I am I'm not going to change like that's not you changing that's you being more mindful of how you interact with people especially if this is this is your husband and you if you know that something bothers him he has told you Mm -hmm. exactly and And then I also think like when he kept saying the respect I'm like I don't know really what you're trying to like she's annoying I don't know about the disrespect. I don't think she's disrespecting you. She's annoying. So I was happy when, I think it was Dr. Viviana, like kind of broke it down and gave him the language to use. Cause it's like, you're feeling that, but it's not her disrespecting you. You just feel embarrassed. So you feel like she's not seeing you or treating you the way you want her to. Cause that whole champagne Vinny thing, (laughs) the way (laughs) Because that's the thing, like, I get it. A part of me gets it, like, where it's, like, you feel like, okay, the camera's on, and you're making it this big, like, I don't, you're embarrassing me. I get it. And you're adding on to it. Yes. I don't get you. You're just a sensitive person, and you want the person you're with to know that you're sensitive and to understand, like, you're triggering me right now on TV because you're, like, making it, like, as if I'm a clumsy person that does stuff like this all the time. So I get that's how he got it, but it's just that you're grown. You don't got to react like a baby. Calm down. And I was loving his friend when he was like, really? That's, yeah. You you, you, you know you was wrong, right? Like, mm-hmm. But I do think one of the big things is going to be money. I, I, I can oh, see that. Most definitely. Now that whole money conversation was Brett and um, Olivia like <laughs> times two. Yes. Was, Ma'am, what are you doing? Listen, you like I it? get it. You got it. Do what you do. But I really was like, damn. I'm spending half of this girl. It's like, I know cost of living is cheaper down there, but come on. Why are you spending that much on your braids? <laughs> That's where I got stuck. Why is it? I know all the people down there that braid hair. You can go find somebody cheaper. Like, and then every two, every month and a half, 
what listen, are you doing brains are supposed to last longer than that like listen i was like where my brain went like why i was like that that spending habit is whoo I'm, I'm just like and, and what what are you doing what you can't there's not enough waxing <laughs> massages <laughs> yeah. hair, nail like it's not where else, what else are you spending because it's not that's not it <laughs> Listen, I was like, he's not going to be able to keep up. He's going to feel like he has to keep up. And there's going to be, that's going to be the big problem. And then there's going to be resentment. Cause I'm just like, you're going to be like, that's my money, boo. Cause I'm like, where, but I was legit trying. Cause of course they didn't show us the whole thing. So I'm like, yeah. I hope a big chunk of that is a student loan payment. Cause if it's not, girl. cause you're renting. Listen sound like she's like I'm out partying buying like she's like I got the money so I'm gonna use it whatever and I get that 100 I get that but I'm like damn girl can I get some right like whew. but that I was just like who buddy but I mean it seems like they seemed like, like they figured it out personality wise like besides those two big things of like her being annoying and so type a him being emotional like really baby kind of and not mm-hmm. wanting to get but I think I you can see they care for each other yeah like they got mm-hmm. that going for them that they really care about each other they really want it to work and they're really to, willing to put in the work and it's not like they have those huge red flags like someone like Chris or like Eric and things like that mm-hmm. I feel like oh we you know and they don't have walls either they, they're willing to like let's work it out so yeah. I can see if they just talk it out communicate go to couple therapy I can see it working yeah, and I that that I that's don't know about I, was, hmm? I said I don't know about the money. Hopefully his business venture works out. Right. Um, but yeah, I think I think that was their saving grace has been their saving grace is that they're they're committed to the marriage more than they put the marriage before before their the issues. It's like, yeah, this is a thing, but I want I this to work. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sorry, you froze again. Oh, it's raining here. That might be, that might be contributing. I think, but, yeah, here too, it was pouring. At least so I, I think, think that's why. Thunder. I hear some, either somebody's doing fireworks in the distance or it's random thunder. I, I'm, I'm not sure which one, but I've been hearing sounds periodically. But yeah, I think their willingness to just like actually do the work Mm-hmm. and to have the conversations is definitely I think that was the difference maker for them because it was a few times when I was like Mm-mm. yeah especially after he told her like I told them I didn't want someone who's assertive and aggressive because that doesn't work for me and agree no agree. family saying you bossy was a turnoff like yeah I, I I didn't I wasn't sure where they were going but like I said I, I could see they cared enough about each other I think I, I could see it working and yeah. they're on couple cam right they're going to be on couple so. cam. I yeah, think, I think them and Eric and Virginia. Yeah, I think those are the two. Which... That I'm excited. I'm actually interested to see how they, Eric and Virginia, outside of this on couples cam are to see if they really have grown or if it's still messy, messy. I just feel like it's going to be messy, messy. I just, I just. Agreed, agreed. No, He's going to try to get back in your pregnant soon, okay? That, oh my gosh. I'm concerned for their their offspring. You're gonna get enough tequila in her. Like I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my God. Listen. But it, but it also, that's another thing. It sounds like when he's drunk, he gets really mean. Yeah. Cause when she's drunk, there wasn't a lot. It didn't seem like there's a lot of fights, but it seems like when he's drunk, mm-hmm. and they're, you know, they're both drunk, that's when it seems like he gets real like i don't see him being physical but he he no, but definitely he's good with it because he knows what the triggers are he's good with words he knows how to get up and that's the part that like i'm like mm. and then that little smug look yes thing he does is like get away please get away sir but so they had three couples stayed together this season Yes, Ryan and um, Ryan and Clara, Virginia and Eric, and Vincent and Brianna. Yep. So and then the other two left. Yeah. 
Yeah, three is not bad. I I literally thought it'd be one, so three is not bad. <laughs> right. I I'm still surprised that Ryan and Clara said. Yeah. So I thought not it was only going to be Rihanna and Vincent. That's why. Yeah, thought. I didn't. I thought Clara would say yes, but I yes. I honestly thought Ryan. I I, well, I just didn't know. So Agreed. When, when he said it, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I was like, oh, oh, oh okay. Agree. No, I agree with you completely. I definitely that that's why the only two I could see, like, yeah, they both want to be together and they want to want to try was Brianna and Vincent. Everybody else, I was like, Mm-mm, I can't. I can't. I'm not 100 sure. I couldn't put money on it. Right. And I mean, I thought it was cute that he had the cheesecake for her on decision. That was cute because that's the one thing I'll say about I'll say about Vincent. You can tell he listens. Definitely. And he uses, yeah, he listens and he uses what that as the romance because he knows romance is important to her. Like she loves to be romance and wine and dine, and mm-hmm. he gets that that's her love language, and he put he uses it to his advantage. Yeah, I love the way he listens. Like, Me too. I had missed the whole thing about the bike until he showed Me up. Me too. And I was like, that, I'm like, that's beautiful. I'm like, like yes, that's what say? And then getting the the chalkboard, like the word of the day. I'm like, that's so. It's like you're making it you're making it fun and you're making like they're making all these things like these are our things yes yes so cute and it's also like I'm clearly getting older because and I'm getting softer because it's like oh all these little things that it's just like oh when I know there was a time when I'd be like whatever yes yes no but I have high hopes for them yeah the crazy season so I wanted at least one couple to be able to root for and to hope for glimmer of hope in that dang off season because my blood pressure was raised every episode yeah no they definitely were that and it was just like the first half it was like they make me smile like when they exactly would, when they would show Agreed. them yeah. oh okay who yes can we just stay on them a little longer just, just just stay on and then it was like they kept ending every episode with chris and Paige's foolishness because they know that's what brings ratings. I mean, right. sadly, like, oh, we'll it's keep true. you watching till the end. And then they did the same thing with the reunion special. Like, oh, we gonna put them to the end. Oh, exactly. but actually, there's more. I'm like, y'all know what y'all doing, and you know you want to see what happens, so you gotta tune in, even though I don't want to curse us and our messy and us liking messy secretly. Right. <laughs> Like, why do I gotta like it? Because so part of me is like, yo, why did I start watching this? And then it's like, yo, why haven't I been watching yeah. this? Because <laughs> it's listen, I, but listen, they have nothing on Australia. They have nothing on Married at First Sight Australia. I, I watched that one too. I swear, I think Married at First Sight Australia is fake. I feel like it must be like hired actors, and it's not real marriages because the stuff they do on that show. I'm like, y'all can't really be married. <laughs> No you way! I'm gonna just I'll just listen to stories from you because I I can't listen, like maybe the women be like I don't like my husband so I'm gonna get that girl's husband and really be doing it and I'm like what yes like this season the girl was like over her man but she kept saying because they the what the, they do differently is every two weeks they have a dinner where the couples come in they get they have placements they eat whatever and at the end of the dinner there's a ceremony. And at the ceremony, each person chooses that they want to stay or leave. Oh. And if one person in the couple says stay, you got to stay for two more weeks to work it out. Oh. So you only need one person to say stay. Oh, so they have like periodic check-ins. Yeah, every two weeks they do it. So, so I like that. That's so nice. this one, yeah. So this one girl, she was over him, but she liked this other husband. So she kept saying stay because she knew they would have to stay for two weeks each time. <laughs> so she could get more time to plot up. with this other man. And then yeah. they would, it was like, it would be dinner. And for some reason, nobody would notice that they would walk away and they would be kissing in the other room. And I'm like, what? The, so the other husband was a willing participant in all yes, this. Because he so they- realized he liked her. So the last episode, they finally came clean and they asked the experts if they could stay, like if they, their other couples could leave and they could stay as a couple, new couple. Girl, I'm like, what soap opera am I watching? <laughs> right, that's what, I'm like, this, this, is, this is a soap opera. This I is say that all, it's all good, but I say that all the time. I'm like, yo, this, please, I would feel better if you told me this was fake. 
I would enjoy <laughs> watching it more because I get my blood pressure gets so high. I'd be angry. I'd be screaming at the TV and I'm like, why is no one like hitting me? Why is nobody yelling at this chick? Why is nobody like knocking her out for being so nasty? Like that is crazy. Like, please, please tell me this is scripted. Just, just it has to me. be. It has that, to be. Mm, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna send you. A <laughs> I just it got to, it got to the point like when it would go off, I had to hit. I just turned the TV off right away so that because that Marion Millions would start or the, yes, and I'm just like I can't, I can't get I can't into <laughs> something else. I can't do it. So I would miss the preview for the next episode. Uh, Because you would stop it. Like, don't don't drag me into another show. I can't can't get in anything else. It's just too much. But like I said, I do. I'm happy that I started watching it. And I'm happy that last season was my first one just from the stories I've heard. Girl, you missed a lot of doozies. Yeah. So I'm... But one of the things, like I said, I think it's nice just the, the whole concept of it. But also, it has been especially I guess because I started watching it during the um, pandemic it's uh-huh. been interesting to watch the couples especially the women of like oh I recognize this in myself or like mm-hmm. those different types of things because it's like it's yeah. you know I would say it's like it's when you see it in somebody else it's easier to yes. identify because so I, yep. I was like oh Karen it's a lot of <laughs> Mm, all right and even Haley as much as I couldn't stand her but the whole like about the walls and the expectation mm-hmm. it needs to look a certain way and if it's yes. not this then I don't want it and I'm like oh agreed cool. agreed and that's the thing 100 percent that I agree with you I do see that like I see that in Haley and I'm like oh I can recognize aspects of myself in that but that's why like I get it some people are like but you 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 think people come on this show with pure intentions and majority of them probably don't because that's why I always say like I if you know that's the kind of person you are this show isn't meant for you which I still don't know why I honestly like I said like we were saying earlier I think they were trying to go for ratings because I don't there's no reason Chris should have been Chris Haley should not have been on there like point blank in the period they just because you are way too rigid in what you want and I didn't watch the pre-show stuff but apparently like Chris was very clear that he you know looks are very important and so yeah and I, I mean, there is a part and there is a part where Pastor Cal says in that thing that he doesn't think that Chris would like Paige so I don't know why he let the other women convince him and he backed down because there was a part where he said I don't think he'll be attracted to her which that bothers me too because I wonder if it's like you know behind the scenes like obviously they're the experts but then they're not the producers of the show and so I wonder that's if what producers I, that's like that's what I think happened. some of it yep. and then even in the thing like going back to the Kristen Page thing what I didn't like is they kept it seemed like they were playing on the fact that she's darker she's a darker complexion yes and then yes. that whole colorism thing, especially when Mercedes actually showed up on the show when she's lighter, and I'm just like, that 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 got a special place in my heart. She's like, hold up, you trying to make it seem like she's not pretty or she's not beautiful because she's darker? And no, yeah. let's not let's not do that. But it was just so many different things that, like I said, I, I think it was much more about the production and shock value. This I agree. Season. And granted, it worked because we here we are talking about it a week or so after it it is no longer airing. Yes, you're right. So, I mean, you're right. It's but just, like I said, I, the whole premise of the show I find fascinating. I will keep on watching it season after season. It's definitely one of my favorite shows to watch, and I'm hoping Texas brings it. I hope that these are some good. Like, even from the beginning, I could be like, I could see why these couples were matched, you know? Like, yeah, I do like a little drama. I'm not saying I want it to be all cookie cutter, happy, happy. I don't watch it just for that. But I don't want it to be where I'm like, every couple was put together just for ratings. Yeah, I'm hopeful. Because like, so, you know, I'm in it now. I will be watching. Good. I will be watching. And we're going to talk. We might have to do something where like two weeks or something. Yeah, we will have to maybe do it like uh, Australia, but maybe every three weeks we check in. Of yes how how are they doing where are we so agree if y'all listening definitely keep that in mind like we're not gonna become a review show per se no but we're gonna 
share our thoughts. Yeah, like we could maybe we could say like if there's 12 episodes, we come episode six and talk about it halfway that's through, something that's like that. Good. Yes, because we're not trying to become a review show. No, that's a lot of commitment, good. first of all. A hundred percent, because girl, I do sometimes. The only reason I watch, li- I make myself watch live because Twitter will ruin everything if I don't. But I'll be honest, I, like you said, I tell it gets exhausting having to talk about a show. Because, like, you know, I tweet about it. Like, I watch mm-hmm. live and I tweet about it. And then I'd be like, all right, I'm done. Right. It's like, until next week. Exactly. Agree. <laughs> what else is going on in the world? <laughs> right. But um, I feel like there's still a lot we could talk about. But I think we covered, we touched we on everything. We, we did, did good. We talked about every couple. I'm proud yeah. of us. So... So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for, you know, we finally got to do this and rehash some of Married at First Sight as well as catching up. It's always good to catch up with you. And maybe before this calendar year ends, I'll get to see you in person and not through Zoom. Yes, Uh, yes. I'm going to say the world is opening up. So that can happen. So well, but no, thank you so much for having me. It was fun. I had a great time talking about one of my favorite shows. I'm glad you called me and no one else. Yeah. <laughs> I might have been offended if you asked anyone else to do this with you. No, like I said, it's like I, I know other people who watch it and I talk to other people, but I'm just like, it's got to be Connie because it just wouldn't be because like legit for as long as I know, I know that when you watch a show, like I like shows and I get into them, but I know that very few people I know get into a show like you get into it and does the research and has the backstory and all, yeah. you know, bring it all together. When I call it an addiction, I ain't joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I appreciate your addiction and you willing Thank to share, you. willing Thank to you. share some of it with me as well as those listening. So. Definitely definitely um like i said thank you again thank you all for listening and if it was not apparent as we were talking clearly everything every aspect of life it's it's a process it's it's one thing after the another we have our highs and we low our highs and our lows but just just keep pushing keep keep going yeah that's just about all i can say and i feel like this last year or a year and a half because 2021 feels like a continuation of 2020 um, has definitely um, kind of just shown us that over and over again. So remember, it life is a journey, it's a process, not a destination. So thank you all for listening.